On today's episode, AI can be a game changer for manufacturing if industry can develop a strategy. Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com TV today. There are a handful of technologies which have been popularized and anticipated long before they became reality. Television, spaceflight, and robotics were the subject of fiction for decades before the technology was developed, and today artificial intelligence lives in exactly that space. The benefits are widely anticipated, and they're highly desirable, but implementation of AI industrially is still at the starting gate. Why? According to new research by AI and cloud software provider IFS, global manufacturers recognize the paradigm-shifting importance of artificial intelligence, but they're in no hurry to become early adopters. 43% of survey respondents cited limited skills and expertise as an inhibiting factor, with 40% reporting data complexity and a full 38% declaring that the use cases for AI are limited in their operations. Perhaps more significantly, fully 55% of respondents in manufacturing felt that the lack of a coherent and strategic approach to AI, plus a lack of C-level management support, were critical factors slowing AI adoption. Sustainability is a relatively new metric that's gaining in importance for global manufacturing, and artificial intelligence is widely expected to be a key component of sustainability planning. 22% of survey respondents felt that the way that artificial intelligence will improve sustainability is through process efficiency. The famous Gartner hype cycle describes a typical trajectory of implementation for any new technology, with the peak of inflated expectations followed by a trough of disillusionment, then a slope of enlightenment followed by a plateau of productivity. By this model, it would appear that industrial AI is currently in the trough of disillusionment, although compared to previous manufacturing technical revolutions, it is a little different. Computer numerical control of production equipment, for example, increased productivity in fabricating, machining, and forming operations, but they essentially did the same tasks that human labor did, making productivity comparisons relatively straightforward and easy to understand. The same was true for industrial robotics, with the most popular early use cases being the literal replacement of assembly line workers by pick-and-place machines. While CNC and robotics also follow the Gartner hype cycle, those industries fought through the trough of disillusionment, and in time, the benefits of machines that do things humans do, only faster and better, became self-evident. According to the study, AI is different, because it drives value at a manufacturing organization in a profoundly different way. In industrial artificial intelligence, value will only be derived in operations that already generate extensive data from both shop floor and front office operations. The artificial intelligence will need very large and complex data sets to develop competent decisions, and unless manufacturers know what they want AI to do and what data it will use to make decisions, it's likely that the early adopters will struggle. And who's the most optimistic? The IFS study involved 1,700 senior managers in multiple engineering disciplines in North America, Europe, Japan, Australia, and the United Arab Emirates. Norway ranked first in optimism for manufacturing AI, followed by Sweden and France. And the United States? 12th out of the 12 nations surveyed. For AI system vendors and integrators, skeptical American manufacturers are going to need support and hard evidence before they pull the trigger. Well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, Designing the Future, and the Engineering Roundtable, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.